What's up guys, my name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. This week what I'm going to be sharing with you guys are five hair hacks that I think are going to be beneficial to your life. No guys, so this is these hair hacks are a universal hair hack, so it works for every hair type. What I'm going to talk to you guys about are issues that are faced with very thin fine hair, but also very thick curly to fucking gnarly hair. So, let's go ahead and get into these hair hacks right now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe down below. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you go do that now by Carlos Berto. The products that I'm going to be using in this video are the items that you have laying around your house. So I've decided to make sure that I pick the hair hacks that are most accessible and you don't need to go spend a lot of money because I care about the kids. I care about the young spades. So let's go ahead and continue this little disclaimer. Let's go ahead and talk about the hair hack number one. So for hair hack number one is something very important for people that have very thick curly hair or someone who just struggles with dandruff. This is something that's going to help you guys keep the balance of moisture in your hair and it's a fairly easy hair hack. And this product is something that we all definitely have laying around in our house and it's baking soda. I got baking soda through the glass. Baking soda is obviously something that we use and something I think we take for granted. I don't think we know the power that this little orange bottle has, which is mwah, amazing. So this is something that's going to help you guys keep the balance of moisture in your hair. And it's not going to strip the complete moisture of your hair, the natural moisture that we produce. And by having a good formula that you create at home that I'm going to share with you guys right now is going to help you guys maintain that nice hair and manageable hair and healthy hair and the feeling that you have when you have very amazing hair. What's up guys? So first you have your measuring cup and you're gonna to wanna to use about a half to one cup of water. You could use a measuring cup or you could do it if you feel a gangster enough to, to guess it and go ahead. Then you're gonna take the baking soda and also use about a quarter to a half, depending on how thick you want your concoction to be. You could make the choice on your own. I used about a quarter just because I don't want it to be too thick and too hard to wash off. Especially my hair is not too, too, too thick and too coarse or wavy. So I felt like that was enough. And now you just put it in your container and you mix it up and then you are ready to go and wash your hair and make sure your hair feels good afterwards. Also, make sure that you leave it in for about 30 seconds to a minute and you just scrub your hair depending if you have dandruff or whatever your situation is just don't go over five minutes okay boys okay boys don't go over five minutes <laughs> baking soda also promotes hair growth the people who always ask like how can i let my how can i have my hair grow faster i have a bad haircut i guess use baking soda and check it out and see if it works Hair hack number two. I know we've all experienced this, and this is something that we all suffer from, whether you have very fine, thin hair, or whether you have very thick and wavy, curly hair. I think it's equally annoying for all of us, but hair hack number two is something that's gonna help you, kind of guide you. What do I do with my flyaway hairs? And people cut them, and they grow back very weird, or they just try to apply product to it, and then they just get stiff and bulkier because the flyaway hairs are stubborn already, so it's like giving, you know, the stubborn hair steroids, it's not gonna help out. But this is a nice hair hack that all you're gonna really need is a toothbrush. So this is gonna be something for, let's say, for their forehead. So if you, I know a lot of people have flyaway hairs on their forehead. So what you're gonna need for this hair hack is a toothbrush and some hairspray. And you're just gonna wanna apply the hairspray to the toothbrush, not your forehead, to your toothbrush. And what you're gonna do is simple, is just brush the flyaway hairs into your hair so that they could blend in and you don't need to cut them off or do anything else, but just apply the hairspray to the toothbrush and gently comb your hair and detail the flyaway hairs into your hairstyle like I am doing right now. And that's all you need to do. And this works very well, as you could see, it's blending into my hairline so there is no stubborn flyaway hairs flying anywhere near my scalp. Yee. Hack number three is something we probably don't do because we're so used to nowadays is getting information fed to us like for what I'm doing to you guys right now. So I'm going to remind you guys, this is something that's very old school, let's take it back. And it's reading the ingredients on your products. Oh, in ingredients. Ah oh, yes, alcohol free. Perfect. 
this product is alcohol free and that's exactly what you're going to want to use make sure you have products that are alcohol free because alcohol is going to absorb all the moisture we all know what it feels like to put alcohol on your skin and if you blow it on there it's going to blow cold and that's just because it's stripping away everything that you got from your skin so you don't want to use products that has too much alcohol because it's just going to dry out your scalp and hair which then could lead to dandruff and also it just could lead to your hair being super dry make sure you use alcohol free products and i'll have a link down below of products that are alcohol free and affordable that you guys could use <sighs> hair hack number four what you're going to want to do is make sure that you wait a few minutes before you blow dry your hair i know that sometimes you get out the shower or i get out the shower and i go straight into blow drying my hair but that's also when my hair feels the most dry so i want to make sure that i don't absorb or take away any of the natural moisture that my hair gives out wait about 10 minutes for my hair to kind of air dry by itself and then I, I use a wide tooth comb. I comb my hair backwards and just let it sit there and let it air dry for a little bit until it's a little bit closer to damp. And then I apply my serum or whatever I use, my heat protectant, to blow dry my hair. Make sure you give yourself a little bit of time before you go into fully blow drying your hair and just let it air dry for a minute because, yeah, if not, your hair is going to be frizzy. And then you're going to keep complaining. You're going to keep complaining about your frizzy hair and just learn to be patient. Hair hack number five is probably the most important one. Maybe with number one, number five goes hand in hand. And this is co-washing. What the hell is co-washing? Co-washing, co-washing guys, yeah, co-washing. Everybody knows what co-washing is. Co-washing is the act of washing your hair with conditioner opposed to shampoo. And also co-washing means to just break down the times you're washing your hair weekly and instead of using shampoo, you're using conditioner. Like co-washing your hair is using conditioner instead of shampoo. So you're gonna wanna use conditioner two times a week and shampoo one time in between. So that's co-washing your hair. Conditioner will remove enough dirt and oil to keep your hair clean, but it won't strip you from any of all your natural moisture and it won't dry out your hair. Your hair's gonna look a lot healthier, it's not gonna be dry. If you shampoo it all the time, then it's just gonna strip you from those natural oils and also it's gonna dry out your hair. So co-washing is something that's very important and it's invented for a reason, so make sure you go try it out. There you guys have it, these are the five hair hacks. Super simple, super easy. You guys should have all the products needed in order to practice these hair hacks. So let me know down below which one you guys are looking forward to do first or if you've tried them all. Comment down below, let me know, or maybe if your hair fell out and you're bald, I, I would like to delete this video. No, but I assure you that these hair hacks will not let you go bald. If this, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm not responsible for any hair loss in this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram at ByCarlsRoberto, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Go follow me at ByCarlsRoberto, you'll probably find out more about me there than here to be honest with you. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for signing my YouTube channel this week. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to put style on everything. Peace out. Yeet.